And Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, as an inheritance. Now, it was still in the enemy's hands at that point. But Caleb said, I'm, I'm ready, ready to go. And what did he get for his troubles? The town of Hebron. And you know, as soon as he received this inheritance from the Lord, Hebron, the Lord said to, to Caleb, by the way, Caleb, would you be interested in giving Hebron back to me? Oh, Lord, you just gave it to me. Yeah, I know. Why, why would you want it, Lord? Well, I'd like it as a city of refuge. You know, there are people who are fleeing the Avenger, and they're desperate to find a place of safety. And if you'd be willing, I'd like to direct them to your place. I know I gave you everlasting life. I know I gave it to you, but I'm wondering, would you give it back to me? Would you like to see what I could do with your life? I was visiting New Hartford, Iowa. And there was a young man who had grown up in that town and got into drugs. And he had heard there were a lot of easy-to-be-had drugs in Holland. And so he traveled to Holland. And he gave himself to the drug life there. He got on the ferry at the Straits of Bosporus in Istanbul. And he was traveling across. And a man walked up to him and said, Can I tell you the most wonderful thing I ever discovered? Okay, And he gave him the gospel. And this guy said, I never heard this before in my life. Are you telling me God wants me? Yeah, he does. Jesus came from heaven to rescue you. And he fell on his knees right in the ferry and put his trust in Christ. He came back to New Hartford. There's a little gospel hall, mostly older people. And he came in there and, you know, he thought everything was wonderful. The singing was wonderful. The Christians were wonderful. The teaching, he just was so happy to be saved. And he revolutionized that little meeting. He didn't know generation from revolution, you know. But he knew God had saved him. And he was prepared to give his life back to the Lord for whatever he wanted to do with it. You see, God uses us. We don't even know it sometimes. Sometimes it's just a smile. A handshake, a hand on the shoulder. I thank God for you, brother. Can I tell you the most wonderful thing I ever discovered? We send it out and we don't remember. But the Lord keeps track of every handshake, every smile, every tear, every word, every kindness. He didn't miss it. <laughs>